welcome back to the HTML video series. This is the third episode and in this episode I will be teaching you an overview of all HTML tags. In the last episode you were taught on how to set up an HTML document and I started coding in HTML. Click the picture that should appear on your screen if you haven't seen it. So let's get started. I'm on HTML Help, a great source for HTML information. You would know about it if you look in the descriptions of my first video. Um, click the um, click the brown button that should appear on your screen to go to HTML Help. Now I'll be starting on. Um, I said I'll do an overview on all tags, but I won't be able to. So. Um, since I'm limited on time, I, I'm going to be using a short list that I made here and I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. So the comment tag is the first one that is here. The comment tag is used to put text in the page that, that you can only see in code. So you can remember important things uh, with your HTML document. So that means if, if you want to remember certain important points and stuff you have in your HTML document, you just put a comment tag that should appear on your screen. So um, I'm going to open up an HTML uh, editor and I'm um, because I'm going to do this quickly. Let's say I want to, uh, to say uh, uh, carrots are cool. I just uh, just make a comment here, and then in between here, I just say carrots. I uh, know, and I'll just I'll just say hi. You see, you can't see this on the page because I've commented it. Now let's get oopsies. Let's get onto our next tag. Our next tag is the doc type tag. The doc type tag is to tell the web browser what version of HTML you you are using. So it's really simple. I'll come and show you this one right on HD on um, W3 schools this is another really good website I recommend you go to it um, I'll leave links in the uh, description so I'm just gonna come on to the HTML uh, learn HTML you can also take courses from here it's really good um, doc type uh, oh wait that, that's XHTML doc type oops uh, HTML doc type where is that where is it where is it where is it I bet I've been looking for it. Okay, doc types. Okay, so now there's different types of doc types. There's uh, these three major doc types. There's a strict, traditional, and frame set. Uh, just forget about the the second and the last one. The traditional is the one that you want to use. So you just copy this, okay, and then you just paste it in the beginning of a any HTML document like that, and that's all you got to do. Okay, um, that does it with the doc type tag. The next tag is the acronym tag. The acronym tag is to t is is used to make acronyms on your page like this. So I'm just gonna show you how to make acronyms on your page. Oops. Um, so wait, I just saw it here. Yeah, acronym. So let um, I'm gonna search acronym here. Okay. The acronym tag. So, have you ever on a website? Have you ever gone and there's a piece of text that stands for something, and then whenever you hover over it, it should show you that um, uh, it, well, what it stands for. Well, this is what you do here. So, let's say um, here it says uh, the the it says as soon as possible. ASP stands for as soon as possible. So, whenever I hover over it, it says as soon as possible. That's acronyms. They're really cool. The next tag is the bold, um, italic, and uh, strike uh, line tag. These should be the, um, these should show up on your screen. So let's. I'm just going to say hi, and then I'm going to make this bold, um, and then bold. Um, okay, that's bold. You see. Now, if you want it strike, uh, if you want it um, uh, italic, you just replace it with an I, and if you want it underline, you press. In, uh, you do the letter U, and if you want it to be a strike line, you just use an S, so there's a line straight through it. Um, the next tag is the BR tag. The BR tag is used to make breaks uh, like this in your page. So let's say I'm just going to say, Hi, everyone, I am cool. Uh, if I want between hi everyone and I am cool to be a break, I just do br, and this doesn't need a closing tag. It just breaks like there's an enter. 
That's the break tag. The next tag is the center tag. This is used to align everything on your page to the center. So let's say if we want this all to be to the center, we just do like that. And this one doesn't need a closing tag, by the way. Okay, everything is aligned to the center. Um, the next tag is the div tag. The div tag is a tag I'll be focusing on in the next video. Um, the next tag after that is the font tag. That kind of just goes like, let's say, um, so let's say I just, I just put something that's in the font, but then you can ev eventually customize it on how you want the font to look like with some things called HTML tag attributes that I will focus on in the next video and values. So um, after the font tag, you have the meta and style tag, which I will also focus in another video. Um, now we have our last tag is the head tag, which goes like, um, which I told you how it works. It's the, uh, it, the head tag is where you put things that you don't want to show up on the page. It's used to give the web browser information about the website. These are some tags that you put inside of it, is the title and the head tag. Now just to tell you guys, um, um, the the head tag is 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 not like the comment tag. The head tag, it, you put things like the title of the page. So if I come here and use a T I T, uh, if I make a title tag, uh, things that don't appear on the page. So these aren't like actual code. These aren't reminders for you, um, but these are like. Um, things for the web browser it's kind of just to give more information about the website to the web browser kind of but then there'll be I'll get more into the head tag in other videos now you don't see really anything here but if you did this on an HTML document where it says real-time HTML editor this would actually be high because the title is high um, now since I, 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 I have some extra time I will actually for uh, I w will do the um, the font tag attribute. So, so the way this works is the font and we have the we have a f uh, the way tag attributes work is you say um, you say the attributes inside of the tag right here then you press equal to what the attribute is equal to and then a value inside of quotations like this so the face is oops sorry is the family of the font that we want so we want it Arial uh, what have I done? Arial. Uh, okay, you see, because now the face is Arial. That's one attribute. And this system works for every tag, attribute, and value. The next one is the color. Color, uh, attribute, and value. So the color, we want it to be... Um, we want it to be green. So we just go green. If I've done this right. No, I haven't. Okay. Um... You can go like that, uh, and it'll be green. But well, what's a better thing to do is to click below uh, to go to this. This is called color picker. Just click on the cyan button to come here. This is uh, what you use to basically find custom colors for your page. So let's say if we want a nice red, we come here and we select the red. Then we have to copy the code for red, the special. Ta decimal code then what we do is we paste it in and you put a hash in front of it I don't think you need to anymore you, don't, you used to do that a long time ago but anyway so now this is red you see and then the last one is the size one so size um, like this um, so we want it 20 so we just go like that size 20 and I don't see why it's not bigger okay Size 10, size, what have I done wrong? Size 30, size 100. Okay guys, I don't see why this isn't working. Um, uh, size 20, oops, oopsies, okay. Um, 20, yeah, I, I, sorry guys, I, I, I don't know, but this should w uh, work when you do it on a document. Um, I think that does it for that. Um, let's see any other tags that I didn't focus on. 
Um, the style tag, yeah, that's just used to put CSS code in, nothing special. If you know CSS, that's what it is. The div tag is to, is, I can't show you, but that one is one that you apply attributes, and then whatever piece of your page that you tag with the div tag, those attributes apply to that. You might not understand this, but then I'll, uh, you understand later. Um, uh, anything else? I think I, um... Did it? I'll just go through the tags one more time. We have uh, the comment, doc type, anchor, uh, acronym. Wait, uh, oh, I didn't go through the anchor tag. Quick, I'll quickly go through the anchor tag. So the way the anchor tag uh, works, this one has a lot of attributes, but I'm going to teach you the href. The href attribute is used to put links. So I'm just going to go google.com. If you do a href exactly how I've done here, which is an attribute that you can add, this will become uh, a, a link. So let's say now just go anchor and I put here hi uh, or, or jahai. When you click on it, it will go to um, w, oh, HTTPS, HTTPS colon slash slash. Uh, actual colon okay um, now will this work yes it, it works okay guys so anyway thank you guys for watching that almost does it for this video um, for more information on HTML HTML help uh, anything else I talked about in this video look in the description um, as well as my um, uh, website the tech typhoons website don't go to my website i haven't made it yet my email address my twitter account my google plus account all of that is in the description more information on html please just pause the video and like it if you did also favorite it if you can um com it please leave a comment and tell me what you thought of my video and subscribe for more videos but anyway guys thank you for watching and i'll hopefully see you in the next video bye